What are the top 10 programming languages? That's what this video is not about. In this video, what I wanna do is share with you the seven websites I use when I make my video of the most popular programming languages. Now, one thing you have to keep in mind is a lot of these websites talk about the generalized use case of languages, and some of them are more specific. That's why I wanna give you this list so you can independently check out what the most popular languages are from some of the most reputable sources online. So when you take a look at my video or anybody else's video, Video. Now you know where that information comes from. And I think it's important to share these websites with you because if you're going to be watching another video or reading an article about what the top five, top 10, or top 20 programming languages are, it's very helpful to know where they source the information from. So that's what we're going to do here. All right, so let's jump into this list. The first one is the Tiob Index. The Tiob Index is very popular. It's very well respected in the programming community. And what they do is they give you a basic understanding of what they use in their methodology to determine what are the top programming languages. And you can get the definition right here. But if we look at their list, there's no surprises. We see Python is number one, and Rust has maintained its position in the top 20. The Tiob Index updates their information every single month, so it's good to see the changes in what developers are using. Now, the next one should come as no surprise, because if you're a developer, if you're a programmer, I'm very confident you know about this website. It's called Stack overflow. They're one of the biggest resources for developers to learn how to do something. If you're stuck on a topic, what you do is you go there and you put in a question and then you get a lot of feedback. What's cool about Stack Overflow is they also do a survey every year for developers. And in that developer survey, they ask questions about what technology you're using, what programming languages you're using, what operating system, and a bunch of questions that developers all across the world want to know. So of course they also have a good list of what programmers are. You Using for their primary languages. And here we see that in the loved versus dreaded section, Rust is the most loved programming language. Python is down here, and this is the list. The next one is popularity of programming languages. And this list is kept updated as well. You can see the methodology they use in determining what should be on the list. And here there's no surprises again. See Python is number one, Rust is here at number 13, PHP is at number six. Then we move on to Redmonk. It's another website that puts out a ranking of the most popular languages used. And if you go to their site, you see some of their methodology and what goes behind their process of determining what should make this list. A lot of information from GitHub and Stack Overflow. If you scroll down, you see they have the graph of different languages and where they stand on that list. And on this one, they have JavaScript being number one, Python's number two, and they have PHP at number four here. And Rust is in the top 20. Then we move on to the IEEE Spectrum. Now this website has a really cool interactive tool that you can look at what Spectrum believes is the best languages, what are the best languages in the job market, and what are the trending languages. So let's check that out. Here we see the top programming languages in 2022. In the Spectrum tab, they have Python number one and Rust down here. That's about the 20th position or so. When it comes to jobs, in this tab, SQL takes the lead. Then we go to trending and Python's back in front. Then if you scroll down, they give you some more information and their takeaway and feedback on what the list means. Now the next list is from Octaverse and they're from GitHub. So you know that the information they get is meaningful because of the fact that they scan everybody's repository. Yeah, that's becoming an issue with Copilot, their other service that they provide. There's a big lawsuit about that, so you may wanna check out that video. But basically this list, what they do is they identify what are the top primary languages used by developers. Here they have JavaScript being the number one, Python being number two, Java, TypeScript, C Sharp, C++, and PHP. Then they have another section talking about what's the fastest growing languages. So Octaverse is a good resource because they get the information from GitHub. And with developers uploading their code to the platform, they have a really good idea of what developers are using. Now the last one on this list is w 3 Text, and I put them here because since I'm a web developer, for me it's good to know what languages are the ones that are most widely used. And why does that matter? Because it's about longevity. There's always gonna be a trending language, but just because it's trending today doesn't mean it's gonna be around for the long term. So I like w 3 Text, and they give their information in a pretty straightforward way. And here we see what the languages that are being most widely used are. And there's definitely no surprise here. Since we're talking about websites, PHP is still the predominant language used to develop websites. 
And then you can check out some of the other tabs as well. For client side, we see that JavaScript is number one. Can't believe people are still using Flash. You can take a look at the CSS frameworks being used. It's a really good resource. All right, so those are the seven websites I use when I'm trying to determine what are the most popular programming languages. I share them with you so you could do your own research. I think it's important for you to get different opinions from reputable sources. So anytime you see my video or anybody else's video talking about these are the best languages, now you know where that information comes from. All right, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit that notification icon. If you have any comments or thoughts, leave them down below. And as always, thanks for watching and happy coding.